Welcome to Coffee and Conversions, your casual segment on the top B2B marketing tactics from experiences, not textbooks. Here are your hosts, Dan and Miles. Hey guys, welcome to Coffee and Conversions. As always, today you got me, Daniel, we got Mr. Miles over here, um, and apparently Miles read a self-help book this morning. So we got a really good topic, which is lifestyle changes that have improved our marketing and our lives. So, Miles, I know you're full of wisdom these days, so why yep. don't you kick us off with your first lifestyle change? Absolutely. I read 10 pages this morning, and I'm a completely <laughs> different man. So, uh, my first lifestyle change would be having a blend of generalization and specialization um, and the knowledge that we acquire. So, specialization, whatever industry you're in, specializing in the knowledge in that industry. So, if we're talking digital marketing, Maybe you're hyper-focused on Google Tag Manager. Well, we see oftentimes that people get too specialized and we lose focus that generalization is also a good thing. So mm -hmm. whether that be reading books on finance or investing or, um, I don't know, whatever exercise, whatever it may be, but gaining general knowledge helps us communicate with people and understand people and can help us build better messaging if we are working with different partners. Yeah, I think that's a really good one. I think, um, one, I believe being a well-rounded marketer is, is one of the keys to, to success in marketing, but marketing is really a key function inside business. If you don't really understand business, if you don't really understand the industry that you're working on, and then in marketing, if you don't understand how the, the various tool sets work together, um, what ends up happening is you become a you know kind of single-faceted marketer and and the reality is it's it's tough to really to really scale yourself and, and your businesses in that approach yeah for sure and i found it keeps you continuously passionate on marketing because you're almost going through a revolving door with the material you're learning so lifestyle change number two what you got nice i got an interesting one and i'm curious in the feedback um but something that i've really been practicing is i've removed all my ad blockers um, we don't love ads, you know, I think it's obviously as a consumer, the ads can be a pain, but as a marketer, seeing what the industry is doing, learning from your competitors, learning from the really influential marketers out in the world are a really interesting way to learn. Um, and similar to whether it's the Super Bowl or when you scroll around on Instagram, analyzing what the world is doing so you can position yourself to be better or learn from those assets, I think is a really interesting experience. And as somebody that has a deep passion for marketing, it's genuinely interesting to analyze ads or analyze marketing channels uh, at a deeper level since I do tend to understand them. Yeah, and I've found that even, I think you and I have sent each other multiple screenshots back and forth of us scrolling through Facebook yeah. and seeing something. And some of our own ads have come from you and I just doing that. So. Mm -hmm. Lifestyle change number three, I have exercising in the morning or getting some sort of little sweating. Um, I know Daniel's a workout freak and I like to work out, so we didn't want to include this just because we're passionate about it, but getting that blood flow in the morning um, really helps spur creativity and wakes you up in the morning so you can have a more productive morning. And I found that's really helped me out. Yeah, health is uh, the key to success, especially in today's world. Lifestyle change number three, um, prioritizing around your your larger goals. So if you've been following our, our podcast and our videos, we are really consistent around quarterly planning and setting quarterly goals. And as we all know, life can be extremely busy. So in those days where you don't know which direction to go, um, make sure that you go back to the key things that you planned on accomplishing that quarter and start tackling away at the tasks that help you achieve those goals. Um, and really staying focused with those larger goals as your prioritizing mechanism, um, to me has been really, really impactful and uh, has given me some clarity in what to do on my day to day. Oh, I like that one. I like that one. And final lifestyle change, I have scheduling work breaks. So it's easy, especially remote, to just work from morning till night because it's hard to you know, step away from your computer because now you're living with your computer. Mm -hmm. um, so what I've found is scheduling 10 to 15 minute work breaks, whether that be to go for a walk um, or just to get away from the laptop, that's helped me with clarity coming back to the computer and producing more quality work. Um, so that's all I've got for you, Dan. I love that. I love it. I think it's uh, time for a work break. Should we go for a walk? Yeah, let's do it. Nice. We'll see you guys. See you later, guys.